So we're back again with Ruby here. Um, so Ruby is our diabetic um, dog. Um, and today we're going to discuss what happens after your dog has been in, on insulin for a while and how we monitor and control how well her diabetes is progressing. So today we have Ruby in for a blood glucose curve. So what that is, is it's a series of blood tests throughout the day so that we can see how well her glucose is controlled throughout the day and we can see how well the insulin is working and whether we need to up the dose or whether we need to um, decrease the dose. So um, that involves taking a blood glucose. Blood glucoses are really simple to take. This is something that if owners feel confident in doing it, they can begin to do it as well themselves so they can monitor the dog's blood glucose. In a blood glucose monitoring kit, you get your monitor and you get a lancet. Untwist it. So the lancet has a teeny tiny little needle on the top and when you press this button it gives a little prick like that. So what that does is it just um, punctures the capillary area um, so that we can take a little sample. So there's two spots to do it. So one is on her lip. So you just lift up their lip nice and carefully like this. So lift up her lip, dry off her mouth. You have to um, remove the saliva so that it doesn't dilute your sample and you're holding this up here like that, little relief. Hey Rubes, hey baby. So a little drop of blood and you wait for your blood sign to come up and just off the edge of it then and to be collected, this is not working. So 11.7 is her blood glucose now at this point. The other spot to take a blood glucose from is the ear. So um, there's a vein in the ear. If you hold the ear up nice and gently um, and have a little look, they have a vein running along the left, the lateral vein. So there's a, you can see a few of them there. See the little capillaries there. So that's the area that you're going to take the sample from. So you hold your lancet up against it, you're holding your needle up against that and you're getting a little, a tiny little blood sample off it. I'll just 